I never felt like my slot was secure until the Olympic trials, until everyone else had finished up competing and they announced the team. And that's when I kind of let myself go, okay, I'm going to the Olympics now. It was amazing to be on a team of four women to go represent the United States, but not just the United States, but women in weightlifting. Robin Goad, who I had to compete against and who I competed with at the Olympics as a teammate, obviously that was someone that I looked up to and just her determination and her commitment to the sport and also her commitment to get women included in the Olympics, um, I think is amazing on her part. We walked in the opening ceremonies and if I remember correctly, we had one day in between and then we competed the next day. The, the competition was somewhat of a blur because I sat with a towel over my head. For me, it was important to just focus on what I could control and that was my lifting. I l missed my last clean and jerk in the competition with 105 kilos and I was kind of upset and I had no idea what place I was in. I really didn't even know that I was in metal contention. And so I sat down and I said, Ugh, you know, what place am I in? And um, that's when they said, you know, you're in second place. It was very weird because two days, I think it was two days later, I remember I was in um, Sydney walking around with my family and I got a call on my phone and it was USA Weightlifting. And they said, is this chair not the um, weightlifter? And I said, yes. And they said, is this chair not the Olympic champion? And I said, no. And then they were like, well, the Bulgarian tested positive and now you are the gold medalist. And then I was just kind of in shock because I was so excited just to be at the Olympics and then, you know, to win a, a silver medal and then all of a sudden now be a gold medalist. It was just a lot to take in. It didn't sink in until I got the medal, which occurred much later because I, I didn't go to my medal ceremony that happened in the village. Cheryl Hayworth was competing at the time and I just felt it was so important to support Cheryl and you know, we're there as a team and I wanted to be part of that. I don't think the medal defines you and I also think there's a lot of Olympians that put in a great deal of time and effort and it just, you know, didn't happen on that day for them, but it doesn't discount the hard work they put in and um, the sacrifices that are made. I don't think the medal changes that. I think the fondest memories I take from the Olympics is the people that you're able to compete with. Even Robin and I were competitors against each other, but we totally supported each other. We lifted each other up. We wanted to see the best for each other. And I think that's what sports should bring out in you. I was fortunate enough to be with, compete with a lot of great women who, who did that and did that for each other.